Hey everybody, it's Ryan Share here again with Dex3. Uh, this is a video demonstration of how to use the new waitlist slash side list over here, uh, which also doubles as a singer's list, which I'll cover in a different video. For now, we'll concentrate on just uh, music, music videos, um, and an auto mix. So this video will demonstrate how to use auto mix from the side list, shuffle play, how to get songs into it, and how to uh, move songs around within the list once you've got them in there. Um, so you still have the ability, obviously, in Dex3 to create user playlists. Those are just your own custom playlists of music. Um, most people are going to use the favorite function uh, down here to just nest folders from your hard drive as groups, uh, which is basically dynamic folders generated directly off the, the uh, directories on your hard drive. Um, and subsequently, it'll show you any uh, subdirectories uh, if you expand like this if you just click the uh, parent folder it'll show you any subdirectories there under it so for the sake of this video we'll just go to my music video list here uh, favorited folder off my drive now the easiest way and the most obvious uh, to get music from the middle window which just shows you the contents of whatever directory or uh, user playlist you've selected here on the browser area on the left uh, is to simply double click a song. You double click a song, it'll send it right over to the side list slash wait list. So that'll populate it. It's easy as that. You can also drag songs over, and this will obviously work from search as well, not just from uh, uh, browsing. You can do a search and then put songs from there into the wait list, and it'll just populate. Now, once their songs are in the wait list here, you can drag them up and down the list to reorder. So I can drag them up and down. Now say your list is kind of long. Uh, let's just throw a couple more. You know, you just added a song and uh, you know you want to play it next. You can, uh, instead of having to drag all the way from the bottom of the list, obviously if the list is very long, this is going to come in handy. Uh, you know, let's just pretend this list here on the left extends beyond the bottom of my screen. I can go to the bottom song I just added and double click it. It'll send it to the top of the list. So that's just a quick way to send it all the way up to the top. And once it's up there, obviously, if you don't want it next, you could always drag it down one, you know, below the next track you want to play. Now, if you want to remove songs from the side list here, you can simply click the delete key on your keyboard. Delete will not delete the file off your hard drive. It's just going to remove it from the list instantly. So you see how that works. And we'll go through the whole thing and just clear it out. Uh, you can also, if I add a few songs back, you can also right click instead of just, if you want to clear everything and just say clear list, it'll ask you, hit OK, list is gone. So if you've created a user list before an event or, you know, it's a specific playlist for, uh, your event that evening or whenever uh, you can right click in the list just like this right click and from the drop down menu select send all to side list auto mix you click it and it will send your entire list of music over here now I'll show you one more time from user lists we'll just clear this out one more time so I was in a favorited folder that time and did it and I'll go up to my list here. Here's a playlist. Uh, right click in the user list and just say send all to side list auto mix. You can also send a single track over by right clicking as well but it's easier to double click or just drag over. So we'll just say send to side list auto mix list. That's actually I just selected the one so let's try that again where I select all send all to side list auto mix. So it'll populate the entire list here of the songs uh, from your user list. So now that the files are in there, obviously, once again, you can you know double click, send the bottom track or any track you click on to the top, but you can drag and drop and reorder. And from here, you can now use autoplay. So unlike Dex2 and previous versions, automix exclusively works here from the side list automix list. Uh, which is why it was an important function to add the ability to send a list, the total contents, over to the side list auto mix list uh, because you'll create your playlist and you can quickly send them over. Now, 
Uh, I didn't show you there, but if you were to have a wait list already created and you wanted to append to it, instead of clearing it out, I could just go to another list, right click, send all to side list auto mix. It's just going to append to the bottom of the list. So it's not going to replace what's there. It's just going to append to the bottom of, of the uh, existing side list wait list here. So now that you've got your wait list and you want to take a bathroom break or grab a cocktail or something, uh, you can just engage auto mix. Auto mix is the button here labeled auto. And what it's going to, it's going to do obviously is play down in order. Now, you know, starting from the first track and tracks will be removed. You'll see that in a second here, uh, as they're played. Now, if you want to shuffle the list, just click the shuffle button. It'll completely randomize the auto mix list. So if I just shuffle again, you know, every time you click shuffle, it's just going to completely randomize your auto mix list here, your playlist. Now, if I engage auto, it's going to start with deck two. I've pulled down the volume here, so I'm not going to hear this very well, but put it up a little bit. So that's it. Um, it's just going to mix through that list in order. I'll quickly show. I'll just jump to the, the end reel here, here real quick. And fade over to my next track. Now I know I got the volume pulled down a little bit, but you may be able to hear it. It's a nice smooth radio style transitions. And it's just going to continue through your list like that until it's played all the way through, uh, removing the songs as they're played. So that's really all there is to it. Um, we're going to continue to build in some different variable auto mix features uh, throughout the next uh, few updates. So keep checking back. Uh, hope that gets you started using auto mix and your side list slash wait list in PCDJ Dex3. Thanks.